Hello, 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 and welcome to... Today we're talking about... What the fuck is this? This is like a shitty custom card, right? It's real. It's real? Yup. It's real. Why? Mm-hmm. Okay. I guess today we have Daryl, Hunter of Walkers. Which is kind of funny, because the only thing Norman Reedus has done lately is star in a walking simulator game. Am I right? <laughs> this isn't a comedy video. Anyways, Daryl is a 4-4 legendary human archer for two, a green and a red. At the beginning of your upkeep, target opponent creates three walker tokens. And you can also tap Daryl to do two damage to target creature. And whenever a zombie an opponent controls dies, you draw a card. So I will get to the combo, but first I'm going to air my grievances with these Walking Dead cards. Because, if you didn't know, there are multiple of these. All of which are legal, as of now, in EDH, Legacy, and Vintage. And are limited edition. Now I'm not going to get into the issues that other people brought up with these cards. Like how wizards shouldn't print unique legal cards with limited availability. Or how these should have been silver bordered. Or how they should have been alternate art cards, like the Godzilla ones. Or the fact that the Walking Dead is now kind of canon in magic. Like, this basically means that somewhere in the MTG multiverse there is a plane that is just the state of Georgia but overrun by zombies. And while I agree with all those points, I'm going to talk about what bothers me about these cards. And that is, that the rulings of these cards are fucking sloppy. As someone who makes videos explaining the rules of magic, these cards infuriate me. Magic is a game where a card's rule text is very literal. You do what the card says. You don't get that from Daryl. From the first line, an opponent creates three walker tokens. What the fuck is a walker token? If you know The Walking Dead, you would guess it's a zombie, but even then it doesn't say anything about it. Is this token a creature? What color is it? Is it colorless? If it is a creature, what's the creature type? Is the type walker? Is that a new type? What's the power and toughness? This card gives no info whatsoever. Now when we look at the walker token that comes with these cards, we see that it is a zombie creature named walker, and it is a 2-2 and it's colorless, I think? I really don't know. So how will this all work in the rules? Will all walker tokens just be assumed to be a 2-2 colorless zombie? Will they need to create a rule specifically for walker tokens? See? This vagueness opens up multiple cans of worms that kind of points to the fact that wizards will now create new rules in magic in order to create cards from other franchises. That just seems wrong to me. Even Daryl's last ability states zombie. We now know that the walkers are zombies, but even then this is not intuitive to someone who doesn't know. Yes, cards can reference different unrelated creature types, but given that The Walking Dead is based on zombies and Daryl cares about zombies dying, you would think that it might be beneficial to maybe mention that those walker tokens are actually fucking zombies. This is what I mean when I say that these cards are not intuitive, and you don't fully understand the card by reading it because it is not as literal as it could be. If you think I'm being nitpicky over semantics, let's compare Daryl to another card that makes a token with a name, Kari Zev. When Kari Zev attacks, you create a legendary 2-1 red monkey creature token named Ragavan. That's pretty explicit. You don't need the token to fully understand what you're making. Right there on Kari Zev, it gives you the card type, a super type, a subtype, a color, power and toughness, and a name. There's your token. Use a potato chip to mark it, because all the info is on the card that created it, and anyone reading it understands what that potato chip is now. You don't have that with Daryl. You just give an opponent some walkers. What are they? Just some walkers, you know? They walk. So yeah, that's my issue with these cards, on top of everything else that people have brought up. I liked The Walking Dead when it was relevant in like 2012, but don't bring it into my card game. I'm sure The Walking Dead has a failed card game for that. Oh yeah, the combo. Play Aether Flash. It's a red enchantment that deals 2 damage to a creature whenever it enters the battlefield. The walkers come in, get zapped, and die, and you draw 3 cards in your upkeep. Good thing you know they're 2-2s two now, because you won it from reading Daryl. I don't think these cards should be legal. I don't think this type of product has a place in black bordered magic. And I don't really want to play with or against these cards. I'm not here to gatekeep, and I'll never shame or harass someone for playing these. But every time they hit the table, for me, it cheapens a game of magic. And if Wizards continues this trend, well, I don't want to stick around to see how far magic will fall.